Oh, this smells so good. Good, good, good. Oh my goodness. This is my mason jar, my big mason jar with Epsom salt and I have baking soda. And then I've got my bottles, of, my empty bottles of essential oil that I've, I've taken apart and put the lid, the orifice, and whatever drops were remaining and put them in and I'm letting everything infuse and meld together because it smells so good. And this is one of the ways that I do oils for myself and for my benefit. Um, and it's very relaxing, it's very therapeutic. It's just, and it smells so good. But this is a great way to take empty bottles of essential oil and use up every last drop because it's so good, so worth it. So why am I talking about this to you? Well, this morning I decided I would do a bath soak. And I just woke up not feeling super great and wanted to, you know, relax before I knew I had a full day ahead of me. And so I needed to replenish this because it was empty. So I took some bath salts and then I found empty bottles that I'd been setting aside for today. And one of the bottles that I found was peppermint. Now, you might be asking, why is this not in there? Good question. Well, when I went to open it up, see, I open it up, and then this top part right here is the orifice. I just popped it off, and I throw it in there because it's got tons of oil. Well, when I looked inside and saw that there was still a lot of uh, oil in my peppermint bottle, I decided, hmm, I'm gonna make a roll on. So this is another thing I do. I take uh, empty bottles like this or bottles that have just a tiny amount and I will add other oils and create my own blends or make blends that um, that I've heard about from other people. So one of my favorite things to blend together, whether in the Epsom salt or in a roll-on, is I'll take Idaho Blue Spruce. This is great support for bones and joint um, and skin. I just love it and this smells so good. This is grown at our Highland Flats farm in northern Idaho and I traveled there this last summer and it, the whole place smells like Idaho balsam fir. To me that's heaven. <laughs> it's so good. All right. Can you tell how much I love it? So I'll take Idaho blue spruce that's also grown there and it just has a different smell but I like it almost as much. But balsam fir, mm, that's one of my favorites. I'll take copaiba. This is great. It's a uh, it's a great oil to use in conjunction with other oils. It just enhances the qualities that uh, the oils have together. It's also good for just calming and relaxing. And then I'll uh, mix cedarwood. And cedarwood is great. It's high in sesquiterpenes, which are one of the constituents in essential oils. Myrrh and frankincense also are very high in sesquiterpenes. Sesquiterpenes are awesome because they, um, I choose to know how to respond. I want to say this the right way. They reprogram your cells. So in essential oils, you have polyphenols, which clean the cells. You have monoterpenes, which basically erase any of the bad cellular data. And then you have things like cedarwood, which reprograms your cells, which is awesome. So I took cedarwood and copaiba and Idaho blue spruce and I added it to what was left in peppermint. And then I also had a tiny amount of Valor, and I'll show you what happened to the Valor bottle. Um, it it got thrown in <laughs> the best salt. So, and I mixed them all together, and I thought, oh my gosh, this is going to be great. And so what I've done is just used it for support on my neck, 
And what I've noticed, because it is sunny in Seattle and warm today, this is like day two, and it's only getting warmer, I put it on the back of my neck and it has a cooling effect. So it's helping to cool me down and calm me down. It smells amazing. And yeah, so I wanted to share with you two ways that I use my oils, basalts and roll-ons. So stay tuned. I'll be posting more things as the week goes on. Again, remember you can share this event, invite your friends and your loved ones, anyone that you care about, that you wish uh, to see, you know, find some new alternatives to wellness and, and well-being in their lives. So anyway, it's Tuesday. I hope you're having a great week. I will talk with you later. Bye.